So you obviously were an entertainment lawyer. Yes. Um, what label were you working with, or were you independent? I was independent also, um, but what really assisted me um, in the early 90s, early to mid 90s, was I ran a small black owned law firm, uh, Osean Woods, with Ed, my former partner Ed Woods, and it was this magical time where we didn't set out to have a big name, we were just doing what came naturally, organically, and we were, just like I'm a pioneer in the podcast game, I was a, po a pioneer in being kind of like the first hip-hop generation attorney, the first attorney that graduated that was really part of that culture. So what happened around the mid early 90s is we had a lot of peers that had dreams just like ourselves in the music industry, peers like the Damon Dashes, peers like the Diddies that we just happened to know them. We just happened to know them. My partner went to college with Diddy. Like, you know, I happened to be working with Damon on some of his earlier deals. So this, this magical phenomena happened where all of a sudden Puff becomes the greatest of our time in the music industry. And it just inspires everyone to the point where Damon is like, well, Puff is not going to be the only one. <laughs> and then he does it. And it just puts us in this spot where organically now we're so much more recognized for the association with the talent, with the talents and the clients that we work with. Well, well, what kind of clients did you have a month that time? Damon Dash, Rockefeller, Jay-Z. I did their first deal. I worked all throughout the whole Reasonable Doubt campaign. Um, we represented DMX. Um, we were closely with Diddy, so we represented 90% of his Hitman pr production team. Derek Angeletti, Ron Lawrence, Nasheen Merrick. <coughs> so all those great early bad boy records you hear, Life After Death, Ready to Die, um, Puff Daddy and the Family, you know, No Way Out. Like, we worked on those albums. We worked on those albums. Like, we were integral in putting those albums together from the legal side, from the sample clearance side, from the production side. You know, put your hands where my eyes can see, Buster, those are our clients, Prophecy. Like they, you know, they, we worked with those big records during those times. And remember the time, Michael Jackson. We worked on those records. 